So guess what? The CIA, they're fantastic people. <laughs> the secret CIA files say staffers committed sex crimes involving children. Now, I knew the CIA was committed to diversity, but I had no idea it was this inclusive. <laughs> wow, they're getting, they're getting pedophiles. Isn't that nice? It's like the old saying, get woke, get exposed for covering up years of pedophilic child abuse. That's what, that's what the old saying is. Uh, over the past 14 years, the Central Intelligence Agency has secretly amassed credible evidence that at least 10 of its employees and contractors committed sexual crimes involving children. Uh, you know, so you know the CA that failed to protect us on 9-11? They also failed to protect children between 9-11. Come on. <laughs> Come on. These are the jokes. It's tough to make jokes about this, but we're doing it. These are tough. Yeah. Uh, Jay Leno wrote a great school shooting joke. You know how hard it is to write those jokes? Very hard, but he's, I, I won't do it. The most of these cases were referred to the U.S. attorneys for prosecution. Only one of the individuals was ever charged with a crime. Prosecutors sent the rest of the cases back to the CIA to handle internally, meaning few faced any consequences beyond the possible loss of their jobs and security clearances. Wow. Well, maybe maybe they were shitty agents, but they'd make great priests. I'm kidding. Come on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. Most of our cherished institutions are plagued with child abusers, not just churches and the CIA and Nickelodeon. Okay? <laughs> and I threw in that Nickelodeon one at the end. <laughs> this, it does sound very Catholic, doesn't it? This sounds very Catholic. Like, in, So when the priest tried to rape me in Catholic church, they just sent him... Uh, to uh, like Arizona for a sabbatical, so that's like what the CIA does. Now, nobody's going to jail. There's no, don't worry. There's no hearing. We're just gonna, you're gonna lose your you got job. The full, wait, they did the full treat. You got the full Catholic treatment where they even send the priest away, and you know he got sent away, and all that. Like, yeah, yeah, wow. they sent the priest away, and they sent out a note to all the parishioners, like about how our the pastor needs your prayers now more than ever, and that you know they're the ones burdened. And the, they, we need to help and support them. They didn't say what it was. They didn't say, oh, by the way, he's raping kids. Oh and God. so they didn't say any of that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know whether to laugh or say the rosary. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're saying, uh, well, here. Uh, that marks a striking deviation from how sex crimes involving children have been handled at other federal agencies, such as the Department of Homeland Security and the Drug Enforcement Administration. CIA insiders say the agency resists prosecution of its staff for fear that cases will reveal state secrets. Come on, we can't prosecute child molesters or people might find out the Trump P tape is a fake. <laughs> That's that's remarkable. Uh, so let's keep going. The revelations are contained in hundreds of internal agency reports obtained by BuzzFeed News through Freedom of Information Act lawsuits. And I'm surprised that BuzzFeed was able to get their hands on this through the Freedom of Information request. I'd have thought they would have to steal this information with a BuzzFeed personality test. What sex in the city character? <laughs> <laughs> Which sex of the city character are you? A lot of these guys were Samanthas, Jimmy, it turns out. <laughs> They're laughing with Samanthas? <laughs> <laughs> One employee had sexual contact with a two year old and a six year old. He was fired. Whoo. A, <laughs> a second employee purchased. He should have been what? Fired. He. Again, no it's attempt to make no attempt to make sure that guy's uh, taken away out of society so he can't do this again. You know he did it to more kids. He didn't stop because he got fired. A second employee purchased three sexually explicit videos of young girls filmed by their mothers. He resigned. Oh, he was allowed to resign, so I guess he gets to keep his pension. A third employee estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 sexually abusive images of children while on agency assignments. 
But what, I like why they say inappropriate contact. An employee had sexual contact with a two-year-old. Purchase. Okay. Wow. Jesus. Uh, and here is from the article. Here's the. It says uh, inappropriate inappropriate sexual activity <laughs> with an unidentified two-year-old. Inappropriate sexual contact with a two-year-old girl. What's the deal with inappropriate part? I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as an appropriate sexual contact. Isn't that redundant? Sexual contact with a two-year-old is, by its definition, inappropriate. Do you have to add inappropriate? Oh, it wasn't appropriate. There's no such thing as a... And then down here it says, admitted to having appropriate, inappropriate sexual contact with a then six-year-old. Wow. There you go. Mm. Only one of the individuals cited in these documents was charged with a crime. In that case, as in the only previously known case of a CIA staffer being charged with sec child sexual crimes, the employee was also under investigation for mishandling classified material. So the only person who was ever prosecuted for pedophilia while they, when they caught them was because they had also stolen documents or compromised mishandling classified material. That's more important to prosecute for the CIA than it is to prosecute someone child raping. Do you, do you, that's what that says. That's what that says to me, anyway. Uh, the records do not say what action, if any, the CIA took against him. A contractor who arranged for sex with an undercover FBI agent posing as a child had his contract revoked these are the punishments for raping kids they had their what was the punishment here one of these yeah he was charged with a crime yeah uh a contractor so that's it you just he just lost his contract that's it your contract's over buddy caught you child raping i don't think that's the punishment what the f? Hey, well, if I know, rob a bank, are you just do I just lose my job? If I rob a bank, that's it, just lose my job, but then I I don't get to go to prison or anything. Isn't that crazy? J Jimmy, what did the one guy they did charge with a crime? I mean, what what did he have to do to be? Well, I think what what he did what he did was he also compromised classified material. Oh. So they they think that's important. So that's the one guy that was charged with the crime. And the records, they don't say what what action the CIA took. Well, they said they charged him with a crime. A contractor who arranged for sex with an undercover FBI agent posing as a child had his contract revoked. Jesus H. Uh Four former officials who are familiar with how internal investigations work at intelligence agencies told BuzzFeed News there are many reasons that prosecutors <laughs> might not pursue a criminal case. Yeah, like, for example, if they could just suicide the defendant and avoid embarrassment, then they won't prosecute him. <laughs> they could do, if they could give him a Jeffrey Epstein, if they could do that. Uh, one of them, familiar with the workings of the CA's office of the inspector general, said the agency is concerned that in a criminal case, it could lose control of sensitive information. Jeez, what possible information could be more sensitive than the fact that a bunch of pedophiles work at the fucking CIA? Is it that aliens are real? What is more sensitive? Are the aliens real and also pedophiles? <laughs> The world isn't ready to know about cosmic stranger danger. We got to keep it a secret. Don't prosecute him. The former official who reviewed the declassified inspector general reports characterized the concern from CIA lawyers as we can't have these people testify. They may inadvertently be forced to disclose sources and methods. Wow. Sources and methods. Wait, let me guess. Is one of the methods a van pull full of puppies? What is one of the sources and methods? I'm thinking of every horrible pedophile joke now. You know that joke about um Do you think they do you think they don't that the CIA they're like, hey, come on, don't joke about that stuff here? <laughs> like do you think or do you think they have an open <laughs> joking environment? 
the official who noted the agency has had a problem with child abuse images stretching back decades said they understand the need to protect sensitive and classified equities. However, for crimes of a certain class, whether it's an intelligence agency or not, you just have to figure out a way to prosecute these people. You would think that they would figure out a way. Well, maybe just go full Vatican and, tra- and transfer them to a different agency. How about that? <laughs> go full Vatican. <laughs> Sexual crimes involving children, including the viewing of images of child- of abuse, have been uncovered at other agencies that handle sensitive information. In a November 2009 report, the Department of Defense acknowledged that dozens of Pentagon staff members or contractors had such Im- images. Dozens of staffers? Well, now I, I get why they teamed up with the Northern Alliance in Afghanistan. You know, our allies against the Taliban, the Northern Man-Boy Love Alliance. I'm going to get to that. That's later in this. We're going to show you that in a second. (laughs) At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just unbelievable. Isn't that... uh, uh, I feel better knowing the government spies on us. (laughs) The child abuse revelations are drawn from an unprecedented release of reports by the CA's Office of the Inspector General. BuzzFeed's news gained access to these documents after a decade-long pursuit, which included 13 public record requests and three separate Freedom of Information Act lawsuits. Wow. At first, the CIA did not respond to the request. Then it said it would take years to provide any documents. Those requests were followed by in 2014, 2015, and 2020 by lawsuits. And the agency entered into negotiations about what documents to release. The agency finally began to release the documents in March and will release the final set in December. Well, I thought it was going to take... Uh, 35 years or something. Wow. The documents reveal the pattern of sexual abuse cases whereby internal investigators unearth evidence of sexual crimes involving children, but federal prosecutors brought no charges. As is typical of intelligence documents, the records have been heavily redacted. Among the information that has been hidden are the names of the accused employees and contractors and details about their jobs at the CIA. So we don't know who these people are or what they did at the CIA. The agency cites privacy reasons, national security, and a federal law that exempts the CIA from disclosing details about its operations. Holy shit. Do we have a Gestapo right here in our own country? Yes. Yes, we do. Not knowing the identities of the suspects is a hindrance in identifying these cases and why they were declined. The spokesperson for the Eastern District of Virginia said. Beyond the CIA's handling of these cases, questions linger over why U.S. attorneys chose not to charge anyone, even when they seem to have significant evidence Come on. I'm going to guess because the CIA is a big pedophile, bunch of pedophiles over there, and they protect each other no matter what. One CIA employee signed an affidavit admitting he used a government laptop to view photographs and videos of girls as young as 10 years old being abused by an older guy. The employee acknowledged that he first began seeking child sexual abuse images while he was in college and viewed as many as 1,400 while on assignment for the CIA. Well, how can you blame him thinking that? I mean, he told the CIA investigators that he was truly sorry, but he also said he did not understand that it was a violation of agency policy to access child pornography until he took the agency information security course. Well, how can you blame him for thinking that since it's so common at the CIA, I guess? You're telling me the CIA did not do a background check on this guy while he was in college. You're telling me that the CIA did not have access to what this guy was doing in college. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. (laughs) Okay. When the inspector general examined the man's computers, however, no such images were visible. 
A federal prosecutor declined to charge the man in favor of an administrative action by the CIA. The personnel board's recommendation is redacted. So we don't even know what they did to that guy. We don't even know what his punishment was. Despite the admission and the evidence that investigators found on his devices, prosecutors from the Eastern District of Virginia declined to take up a criminal case. The guy admitted it, that he did it. Hey, good news. I just think we solved the mystery of the Jeffrey Epstein sweetheart plea deal. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. So what we learned is Jeffrey Epstein was one of the less perverted intelligence assets, turns out. (laughs) This is what we're finding out. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein was one of these guys into underage teen girls, or as the CA calls it, a prude. (laughs) they told the inspector general there were taint issues now watch your mouth oh my goodness watch your mouth taint issues a term that is sometimes used to refer to mishandled evidence the attorney also said that the girls in those videos had not been previously identified child pornography victims, making it harder to prove they were minors. Oh, sure. Jesus H. Effing. By contrast, in the only two cases known to have led to criminal charges, both parties were also accused of serious offenses related to classified. So this is, again, what I've been talking about. So if you do something with classified information, they're going to come at you. According to an August 6, 2013 Inspector General report, an investigation into a CIA contractor suspected of being in possession of child sexual abuse images turned up classified material stored on his personal hard drive and, quote, numerous technical documents related to the agency's systems on his laptop. The contractor was fired and stripped of his security clearance. He later pleaded. I think he later went on to become a lobbyist for Amazon. Anyway, (laughs) the contractor was fired and stripped of his security clearance. He later pleaded guilty to the child abuse charges and registered as a sex offender. The report says the contractor was sentenced, but the details, along with his name, were redacted. Wait. How, how was he registered then? Was it just say redacted when you go on the Megan's Law list? <laughs> like, I, I get yes, right. That's not right. In the other case, CIA software engineer Joshua Schulte was charged in 2018 with possession of sexual child uh, child sexual abuse images as part of a much larger investigation into the largest leak of classified information into the agency's history. Wasn't that the Vault Seven? Oh, yes. Known as the Vault 7 and published by WikiLeaks, the trove of documents revealed secret tools that the CIA used to hack into computers. It was prosecuted under the Espionage Act. And so here is Pentagon declined to investigate. By the way, this isn't new. This is this is from September 3rd, 2010. Pentagon declined to investigate hundreds of purchases of child pornography. A 2006 Immigration and Customs Enforcement investigation into the purchase of child pornography online turned up more than 250 civilian and military employees of the Defense Department, including some of the highest available security clearance who use credit cards or PayPal to purchase images of children in sexual situations. But the Pentagon investigated only a handful of these cases, Defense Department records show. Here's another one. U.S. soldiers told to ignore sexual abuse of boys by Afghan allies. I think this is from 2010. Oh, no, this is from 2015. I think that's when this, usually I have it on the thing, but it's not there. Let me see, maybe it's at the bottom. No, and this is from 2015. So again, this isn't new. Um, rampant sexual abuse of children has long been a problem in Afghanistan particularly among armed commanders who dominate much of the rural landscape and can bully the population. The practice is called bakabazi. Bachabazi. Bakabazi, literally boy play. And American soldiers and Marines have been instructed not to intervene. In some cases, not even when their Afghan allies have abused boys on military bases, according to interviews 
and court records. And the worst part, we just abandoned these guys and their fight for freedom when we left <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, long, uh, hang on. I'm getting, I'm getting a text. Maybe it's important. Yes, 2015 was that New York Times article. Uh, so there you go. The CIA uh, long history of covering up pedophilia, and the military's been told to condone it in Afghanistan, which they did. Which they did. Well, I mean, people who live in glass houses, Jimmy, can't throw stones. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So do you see why, like, I remember how the Pizzagate conspiracy theory, uh, people were lost their shit over that and they wanted to ban people from social media for pushing it? Yeah. And I think that turned out to be nothing to it. Yeah. But you see, what, well, like, it's not, these aren't baseless. Like, to, to, to think that there's uh, organized child pedophilia happening uh, is not crazy. Go ahead. Well, the, the pizza part was the stupid part of it. Like, this stuff was... This is a New York Times. I remember this article, and I saw the the documentary uh, Frontline, the Dancing Boys of Afghanistan. Yes, this is a long known thing. Like they just do this stuff in the open, and <laughs> nobody does anything. Nobody, nobody does anything. They, yeah. Anyway, so there you go. There's the CIA. You happy? Hey, come see a live stand-up show. We're doing New Year's Eve in Studio City. In January, we'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina. In February, we're going to be in Philadelphia. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets.